Right, hey guys, Andy Cunche, and we're back with Kim Porsche episode seven. So, yeah, I've not got too much time, so we're gonna have to jump into it. But guys, um, yeah, that episode was very, very good. Um, I just love the chemistry; the moments together were great, and yeah, it was a really well-paced episode. I look forward to jumping into this one. So, guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump into this. Three, two, one. Five. Sorry for the rush there, and I got work in an hour. Well, when I'm fifteen, this is an hour long. <laughs> Ooh, this Porsche gonna start getting serious now. <laughs> Fucking hell. I love the action scenes in this show, they're really good. <laughs> He's just holding on to the grenade for us. Fucking hell. Go on, big, get him. Go on, Pete, fuck him up. I guess the I guess the guy's holding the cake because he didn't want to technically blow himself up as well. Pete! Headbutt him, Pete! Headbutt him! <laughs> it must be so... F I don't know if it must be... <laughs> oh! That's not good. <laughs> Big's face. it got for his teeth. That's for the tie shows. That relationship seems to move forward quite a lot. Like I've only had one win. It was Come not on, move forward early. And that was thousand stars. But but this is quite normal. Normally, like they don't leave it till the last episode. A bit like anime. I feel like if they need to get to Porsche, they need to get rid of Pete. But if they touch Pete, I'll be fuming. Pete's my boy. I love the aesthetic difference. I don't know if this is their main base, but you got like the main family in the rich like motel, and you got the sort of more like urban sort of area. I love how it's, I love how it's poor shoes telling them off for a change. <laughs> the guy used to drink our job. <laughs> it was mainly because you want them to be loyal to you. So if you ever went against the main family, you have loyal soldiers. <laughs> Is that what's considered a mess? Oh dear. <laughs> Two crisp packets and some clothes. Vegas is watching in the background in this interaction. That's master plan. Was that just the other day? <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, he's not been a bodyguard that well. Wait, no, that is a new video. That's, we can't be talking about that one. What are you doing? That's part of a plan. <laughs> Don't know what plan, but it's part of something. Is that guy playing Red Alert? Top game. That's Commanding Conquest. Red Alert. Right? Yeah, Red Alert, Commanding Conquest, and Tribute in Sun? Oh, no, no. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, the three factions, I lie. Yeah, it can't be. That is Red Alert, though. <laughs> I think he's a fan. I don't get what he's trying to figure out, I guess. I guess he's going to end up liking him. Yeah. He's softening up to him, but still. Ah, I'm just so sus of everyone in this show. Yeah. 
I have trust issues. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> when it comes to TV, anyway. Oh, he's playing on jealousy. <laughs> so jealous. I still can't get over him waking up as soon as sequel Vegas comes in to talk to his boy. Jealousy is powerful. Look at him, he's just trying to turn you. There's a lot of context missing in this story. Well, it's not true because he trusts Kit. He already trusts Kim. Look at his little smug smile. I know exactly what he's doing. He's like, um, I don't know. He's just a snake that's getting his his venom deeper and deeper, thinking he's playing like the long haul here. Showing a showing how he treats bodyguards, giving him a story of distrust. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Play dumb, play dumb, good guy. Stay safe, Pete. Now ask him about the story you got told. <laughs> Fucking Vegas is everywhere, Winnie. Really. Oh no, wait. Oh, <laughs> Vegas has killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> I do like this song. I always like moments like that. It's like, yeah, you love your kiss years, but you know moments like that is always so sweet. I feel like he's trying to make Dom in a weak position so he can control him. It's going to be something. Oh, God. What's going to happen? It's going to be all, all men in there, isn't it? Oh, God. You're dead. Yep. Mate, absolutely destroyed. Mate, push. He's getting into, the, he's getting into the darker stuff now. Just, just slaughtering people. He's more... Like, that's... Oh mate, right, oh, the song's badass. Da, 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 da. Mate, fucking Porsche. Mate, this is the most brutal we've seen him. This is badass though. What are the guys in the car doing? I don't care, actually, this is cool as fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. That was savage. Yeah, boy. You can tell we're definitely getting more and more deep in the mafia stuff now. <laughs> Mate, 
chuối cá ngon rồi Còn treo tên còn Just be careful Porsche This guy, I'll give Vegas one fee. He's definitely playing the long game to build trust. Like, it's probably a good thing to set up the little salt bit uh, because we don't trust him because of that. Whereas, imagine if we didn't get that. You'd be sort of like in this lot, you'd be in a sense, you'd be still like, hmm, what's he up to? But you wouldn't have any proof that he's up to something. But I had that first scene, it just makes everything seem so menacing. Never seen his in, which is good. It's like, interesting. That's part of their plan to get Porsche to work with him. Like, for Porsche to work. Like, Kim could have planned something like that. I don't know. I like the camera angle, it's quite cool. Pete, keep an eye on him. <laughs> Guys, keep an eye on them. Pete. Why did you, ah, fuck, he's drunk. Ah, you need to talk to him about that first. Properly. Fuck's sake, Porsche. Ugh. Fucking hell, where's that fucking Porsche? Right, we're going to add this out without camera because I'll just finish work and I look dire. But no, um, overall, fantastic episode of Comportia. Um, I like the more like, I really like the seriousness of this one. Well, also having like a cool little action scene there with um, Vegas and uh, Porsche. Um, I'm very curious where they take Vegas' character. So like I say, he's interested. Don't like the guy, don't trust the guy, he's an absolute snake. But I'm curious where they take him. I'm very interested where they take Kim as well because he clearly likes Porsche's brother. I think like he's when you see his first interaction, he's just like ugh. Then obviously he written the song, and then like since after that, you could really tell he, he seems actually grown to care for him. So I'm curious what his end goal is and what he's actually up to and what he's going to perform for the plot, or is he just there to have like that little shit for the brother? I'm curious to see what they're going to do with his character. I hope they do do a bit more of it than just a romance plot, plot point. I hope there's generally some implications with that plot line. Um, really, really loved. Oh mate, I just love this episode. I do love the main two. I think Kin and Porsche are the best. I think they're adorable, and like seeing them on screen together, um, seeing like how hurt he was when he mentioned the guy's name is Trade, and there's more of a story there. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm glad that he's not just caving into his dad's. He's going to find his. He wants to change, and he's going to find his way of leading the gang. And I look forward to see where that's going to come. Pete again, just a lovely. I love Pete. Pete's fucking just. He's just so happy. And I love him. I do. Oh, just, I do. I hope no one hurts my boy Pete. Like, mate, if anything happens to Pete, I'd be so fucking sad because I, I actually really do love Pete. I think he's just adorable, along with the other friend with the glasses. I just think like, oh, they're the best. And they're just like they're just always. What I like about the other the bodyguards is they've just always been there, even if it's just in the background. Now I'm going in line, so you just always feel like they're there and just like a part of the show. Whereas I feel like if they only just came in now and again, it wouldn't have worked as well. Um, again, music was great in this episode. I just think like the pacing was good. Yeah, and it just seems things getting more and more serious as well. Look at how much of a savage Porsche is now with the guns. I thought we'd have more about more more of him killing people, like his thoughts on it and how it's affected him. But it doesn't seem to be. It seems to just be an absolute unit. 
But no, overall, another fantastic episode. I think this show just keeps getting better and better, and I'm very excited to see what I'm going to think of it by the end. Um, we've got two Patreon comments. Suki Port, um, the reason why you um, read the expression fudge is because the language has been censored in translation. So every time it says fudge, heck or shoot, just know they're actually saying something else. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Um, Timothy Port, um, the episode is one of my favourites and one I actually rewatched a few times. Up to this point, I actually read about Meek's feelings about Kin and Porsche. As a couple, I had a hard time getting over the non-consensual aspect of their relationship and this episode really was a good way for the viewers to see what, not only see Porsche, that he's still affected by what happened and Kin as well. In episode five, Kin really doesn't show, really show much about how he felt. But here, as you pointed out, it's clear he has regret for what he did. Does it make it okay? No, but to move forward, we definitely need to address this uh, that night and i think the writers did a good job and i'm glad ken actually apologized to him and told porsche that if he could he'd take it back um this episode feels fresh from the start both of them they need to take their time away get to know each other uh ken has always had a wall up because of his decision but the start the standard with porsche allows him to act as a guy in his 20s with no responsibility or free to enjoy the moment the man he clearly has feelings for Porsche always need to see the side of Kim as well as he's just so beautiful and wholesome. I love the bickering. It's honestly one of my favourite tropes for a couple. And I love bickering. Bickering, like, when you when you go and ask someone, you need to bicker. It's just the best. Not argue, bicker. Uh, Rock, paper, scissors scene was hilarious. Some of the best bickering moments remind me of Merlin and Arthur too. For other reasons, I love this episode. I do love bickering. That's so cute. Rock, paper, scissors scene was really good. Honestly, the handcuff and lick never gets old for me. I've seen it a lot of shows and I always enjoy it, but I agree. Kin should have freed them before the jump in. I guess it was Avenged Reports not telling him about the lighter. They honestly made for each other from annoying love, um, from annoyances to lovers. One of my favourite scenes is when they talk about their dreams in that moment. There is no mafia boss, bodyguards, just two men sharing their dreams and how many moments that made me go, okay, now I definitely shared them and this is one of those moments. Uh, the moment Porsche is willing to sacrifice his hand, you can see Kin's eyes as well. He loves Porsche and, and it ties up well with the next scene of Kim willing to let Porsche go so he could live his dream. I really love that scene. That seems really nice. Uh, the goodbye kiss was everything. We still wasn't sure for Porsche's feelings, but this scene just tells us everything we need to know and they are on the same page. Of course, we had a bit of action close to the end of the episode. Look, Porsche came back to help Kim and Kim taking a bullet for Porsche. Damn, way to end an episode. I don't know how to end an episode. It's always dead dramatic. We didn't get much of the other characters in this episode, but Pete is all flustered because of the condoms is still hilarious. Pete is just a gem and needs to be protected. Uh, I think it's actually really curious what you think of him later in episodes. Uh, I don't know. He, uh, we'll see. The style story is all just yet another cliffhanger. I actually did not watch the until much later because I didn't watch it and had no idea the scene existed. I think I watched the episode for 10 and 11. I was waiting for the next episode to air and check the episode. I forget it's such a new show. I find it's seen America in the YouTubes, but it's good that you watched episode six. It's just a nice piece tone for between their relationship. Kim waking up because of jealous Vegas was making moves on Porsche so perfect. Porsche being scared of ghosts and then busy stuff and it just warms my heart. So wholesome. Next episode is quite a ride and you'll get to see more Vegas too. Yeah, the Vegas fight scene was pretty fucking cool. Oh, something caught me on that. Yeah. But no, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. Leave that something.